This is Chris the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I got with me, Jamie and John, special guest. Um, today, John, we're going to be talking about four tapes every painter should have, painters or painters should have in their vehicle, aren't we? We are. Four of them. Four of them. The best four. The, the best only, four. The only four. So we got four tapes that we keep in our vehicle and that's it. We don't have any others and we even limit those to sizes to one inch and inch and a half only. So we're going to talk about tape and I'll start with or you'll start with orange tape and this is our production Whoa. tape and there that went. Um, so this orange stuff is the least expensive tape that we have here and it's our production tape. And why the heck do we like that tape other than the color? You know, one, okay, you, you joke around the color, but this is a lot easier to see nice straight lines and where it's at and, and how it's laying and making sure it's tacked Absolutely. down. And especially as the years pass by and the eyes don't work as well as they used to. <laughs> especially mine. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So uh, this as a production tape is what we're going to use primarily when we are trying to, when we're doing the bulk of our masking. So we like this versus other production tapes because it does have a higher adhesion. So we're not as worried, especially on things like exteriors, with the tape coming off um, because of moisture or weather that's temperamental. Um, it's going to stay down, it's going to stay longer, and it's, it's strong. So you meant that it's going to stay longer. Um, it does have a three-day release, right? It does have a three-day release. But you want to cut that in half as a rule of thumb, I believe. That's kind of what we figure. So if something says it's a three-day release, we're really not going to want to leave it more than a day and a half up, at least in our climate. If you're somewhere more humid, maybe you can get away with a little bit longer. But for us, we don't like leaving it up more than a day, day and a half at most. And we only carry two sizes. They have a multitude of sizes, but the two sizes that we feel are beneficial to us and so you don't have to go out to the van and just search through all the different sizes of tape are one inch and inch and a half. Those are what we carry in our production tape. So John, you did, you mentioned the colors. So our previous production tape was kind of an off-white. So most of the trim we paint is white. So when you're masking on it, like you said, because you're white on white, you can't see your lines. When we're inspecting the new guy's lines and teaching them how to uh, mask a straight line, it's easier to inspect it and it's easier for them to get a straight line. This is uh, called CP199. One of the things we also really like about it is the paper backing. It has less of a tendency to splinter than other production tapes. And I don't know if it's just a thicker paper or what it is, but we've had a lot better luck with it because nothing ruins your day like splintered masking. And are there any surfaces we wouldn't put this on? Anything that's a delicate surface or really freshly painted, we're gonna hold off on using this because of the high adhesion. For something like that, we're going to use Tape. Frog tape. So one of the things I wouldn't put this on is wallpaper. So there yes. you go. Um, so the next tape, since you introduced it already, frog tape, we carry a whole lot of this CP199 orange tape. The next most used tape that we keep in our vehicles is frog tape. And this stuff, there is something special about this tape that's different than our production tape other than price. It is a lot more expensive, but it does something that this tape won't do. And for one thing, the paper on this tape is a premium paper. It's a lot more expensive, more durable. But what is magic about this tape, John, that makes it so special? So frog tape has a special adhesive that has things mixed into it so that when moisture activates it, it actually swells. It keeps paint from bleeding through the lines. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to have uh, one, like you said, that they have a, a thicker paper on, so it's it's definitely not going to splinter. I don't think I've ever had a roll of frog tape splinter on me. No. Nope. And two, you're going to get nice, clean, straight lines. Well, not straight. Straight lines is up to you, but you're going to get nice, clean lines because yeah. you don't have paint bleeding through. So what happens, if you notice, like, if you look at the tape really closely, it looks like it has kind of a white dust on the outside so that that product is called paint block and it's a technology on this tape and it's on the outside of the tape and if you drop this in grass and it gets wet you'll notice it'll get all swollen on the outside and it's all jelly that's that special product called paint block that keeps paint from bleeding underneath it's an amazing tape where do we use it probably on glass we use it any smooth surfaces yeah anywhere where it's a smooth surface while we're spraying while we are cutting in we'll use it on uh, freshly painted surfaces so if we were painting an interior just sprayed the trim and we're pushing to 
start bringing the wall cut-ins down, I'd be more uh, inclined to use something like frog tape than the CP199 because we're, we're not going to risk pulling up that coating that's still curing. Yeah, and uh, one other thing about this tape, you know, we can teach somebody, can't we, how to paint it or mask a straight line really quick, and then they can paint over this and get straight lines a lot faster, and we can teach them how to do a cut in. Absolutely. So you can probably click this video right here, and it's going to show you one of our tricks for using tape and caulking to get nice straight lines. And frog tape is one of those things that I don't even know what he's, he's spazzing out on me. <laughs> Frog tape is one of those tools that we use to do that, which helps us get more productive employees earlier on. Yep. So our next tape we'll talk about, these are two that we don't use very often, but I think the one we use probably more is the next one. It's Painter's Mate Poly Hanging Tape, and you've got some right there, and this is, we just discovered this tape recently. Yeah, and this is make me like love tape again, because it's seriously a game changer. So this is a, it's a double-sided tape, which you wouldn't think is that big of a deal, but when you're trying to do things like you're, you're doing a lot of interior spraying, you've got a lot of protection that you've got to do, especially if you're working on cabinets, trim packages, things like that, to be able to create booths and seal off parts of the house, even if it's, especially if it's an occupied house, this is going to make that a lot easier. A lot easier. So it has an adhesive on both sides of the tape. So one adhesive on one side is stronger than the other. It is. So coming right off the roll, you're going to take this, you're going to tack it right to a wall. You want to make sure that side's on the wall because there's a bit less adhesive on it. It's got a 21 day release, but again, we're going to cut that in half and say really more than 14 days, you shouldn't have it up there. And then you right. would peel this paper backing off the front or this plastic backing and what you'll see is you've got uh, and you, you can totally tell the difference one side to the other how much adhesives on the poly side and you can take your poly you can tack it right to there and you've got a nice strong bite it's not going anywhere you can have leak proof seals on all of your booths and I, I can't tell you the amount of times I've had a booth fall down on me while we're spraying and it just leads to a huge mess. There's been some questions before in the past, people ask, does it damage the walls when you pull it off? And I have, I've never personally seen it damage the wall. Have you seen it damage any walls yet? You know, we, we've seen it peel up some paint anywhere where like it, it really wasn't just prepared properly. It's been really, really rare. What you could do is you could take a small piece of it, you could put it on the wall, you could pull it up, you could double check that you've got a good grip on the paint you're putting it on. But any paint surface that we've painted ourselves or where we feel like it's sound, we've never had a problem at all hanging this stuff up on it. Amazing booth making tape right there. So then the last tape that we keep in our vans is kind of this dinosaur stuff. It's called T-Rex stuff. <laughs> we typically use this roof lines that are dusty. So I've used it on roof lines that are dusty where our production tape won't stick right there. But then we've also used it on fences, fences that are really old where the, the wood fibers and stuff are really loose and our tape won't stick there. Sometimes moist surfaces and stuff. This stuff is crazy. It'll stick to just about anything right here. So this is one of those things maybe on early morning days, which early morning where it's dew moist out, a little bit humidity out, we would use it for that. Yeah, especially wood shingle roofs where they tend to hold a little bit moisture than the rest of the substrates. This is a good way to be able to put a surface down that you can tape to and keep that process moving. It works well for apprentices who are not behaving either. <laughs> Just wrap it around their mouth and then they can't talk That'll too. teach them. If you got one of those guys just asking too many questions. So the tapes, there's the four tapes. These are the four tapes that we keep in our vehicles now. That's all we keep. And I try to keep things really simple. I don't want a whole bunch of different sizes. I don't want a whole bunch of different, you know, colors of tape and, and just make it hard for the new guys to learn. We're going to talk about price now. We'll start off with our production tape. How much does the orange tape cost? So for a one inch roll, we're probably gonna be right about two bucks a roll uh, retail. And for inch and a half, you're gonna be about 260, 290 a roll. Now that's retail. You should be able to find sales, discounts, rebates, things like that, or work on your pricing and get it for a cheaper price where it's a lot more comparable to more of a production tape, which is gonna be about buck 50 or so. So I know a lot of people are seeing this tape in, in our videos and stuff all across our social media platform because we use it a lot and people have never seen it before. Mm -hmm. And I know we've had people just say, hey, go into your local paint store and ask them to get it. And 
I've heard a lot of people having success having it gotten yeah. into their stores. Yeah, you can get this ordered in. It's SureTape CP199. If you nag your manager enough for it, I'm sure they'll bring it in and they'll probably carry it because it is it's, it's worth pretty it. Pretty worth it. It's amazing. The next tape is our frog tape, the one inch frog tape. How much do we pay for that, that stuff? Frog tape, you're gonna be running about five or six bucks a roll for the one inch tape. Again, that's what we use. You can find rebates, discounts, sales, things like that to get that at a bit cheaper of a price. And then the next one would be poly hanging tape. How much are you gonna pay for that? Poly hanging tape may be a little bit harder to get a hold of. That's going to be between ten and fifteen dollars a roll, so a bit spendier. But it's not the kind of tape that you're going to be using lots and lots of. Um, it does only come in. That's only a twenty-five yard roll, so it's a pretty small roll. It doesn't go very far. But again, it's got a specialty. You work it into your cost on a spray job. Now the next one is the dinosaur tape, which is T Rex tape, and. Yep. A lot of people you know, refer to it as duct tape. That's actually a brand, I believe, and stuff. This isn't duct tape, this is T-Rex tape. Yes, and that, is, that is gonna be, again, about five or six bucks a roll, depending on the size and where you're getting it, things like that. So again, a good one to keep in the van. It's not like you need to have lots of rolls of it, but to have one or two rolls on hand is always ideal. And we like this brand specifically better than the other duct tapes that we've used in the past because the adhesive on this stuff is way, way, way stronger. stronger. So um, the last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, blue tape. I know we get a lot of questions asked, do we use blue painter's tape, your traditional painter's tape? No, no, the, you know, the problem is we've never had it work for us, especially in our climate. It doesn't stick, it doesn't stay on, it always bleeds and it's expensive. Yeah, there's a lot of painters that use it and have success, success using it. It just hasn't been something that we've used with success in the amount of money that you pay for it for production tape. It's yeah. significantly more expensive than this for a production tape. If I was going to go for a, a tape that I was really concerned about a, de a delicate surface for and I thought frog tape was too strong, then I'd probably lean towards something more like the yellow frog tape where yeah. it's made for delicate surfaces. It's got a really thin paper and a really light adhesive on it. That's the route I'd end up going for something like that. There you go. There's four tapes that we keep in our vehicles that we like and enjoy and have fun using, I guess. Yeah, have a ball, a tape ball. A big ball. Yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up, like us, subscribe to our channel. It's simple, easy to do, and it's free. We'll see you on our next video. Out.